fam, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am super duper grateful. For today's video, I have a wear test and review of the Per Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I am really excited to be reviewing this foundation. I've watched several YouTube videos about how this foundation is like amazing, how it has like 100 shades and I really wanted to review it for you guys. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. Please share this video as well as comment down below any video requests that you guys might have. And if you want to know my thoughts of this foundation, then just keep on watching. I am super excited to finally be reviewing the Per 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I am like, I have heard and seen like so many videos about like raving about how good this foundation is. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. It was a journey to get this foundation in my hands because of like the shipping and it shipped, it was marked as delivered, uh, but it wasn't here, and then I asked because it was supposedly received by somebody, somebody um, with the last name Barajas, nobody in my apartment complex is like, their last name is Barajas, and I was just like, where is my, like, package, and I was waiting for these two, um, this foundation as well as the Juvia's Place, which I'm going to be reviewing next, and I was just like really anxious because I was like, dude, like, I cannot like lose these foundations like I really really want to film a video for it so then um, the next morning I was just like oh, okay so I'm gonna check my like tracking just in case they didn't actually like deliver it and maybe they're gonna try to re, re deliver it they didn't leave a note or anything so I was just like okay so then I checked that Saturday morning and it said that it was being prepped for deliver and I was just like okay so then nobody delivered it yesterday I was so confused so then it said that it was going to be delivered by 8 p.m. and I had to go and run some errands. So I wrote like a note on the door and said, please leave it with like my neighbor from like this number or like leave it under the stairs because right outside my door there's like stairs. I was just like, like leave it there. Like I'll pick it up. I'm going to become, uh, I'll come back in like 30 minutes. I went and ran my errands, came back like 30, 45 minutes later and then, um, Nobody had came, like, nobody, like, delivered my package, and I was like, okay, so then I waited until, like, 4, that USPS came, and then they, like, knocked, and I was showering, and I was just like, oh my god, I was like, wait, like, I yelled, wait, and then I opened my door, and, like, the package was there, so I was confused because it was gonna be shipped, or it shipped through UPS, but then it got delivered through USPS, I was so nervous about losing this package that I was just like, oh, like, I really need to make sure that it's safe and like I actually get the package so I finally got it got my hands on the foundation and we're here and I have really high hopes for this foundation because you guys know that like my favorite is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and this like I haven't found a foundation that actually replaces this after that ramble and like that story now let's get to the review I'm gonna pull up the Per Cosmetics with um, the claims that they have about this foundation I love their website because they actually, it was super helpful because you can actually have, they have like an option to find your shade and there's like a list of brands and then when you click on that brand you actually have a list of their foundations and then you can choose like whatever shade you are in that foundation, it matches you to the per um, foundation shade. I was able to actually do the NYX Can Stop in my shade which is nude and then it actually matched me to MG... MG2. I am on the Per Cosmetics website and I have found the 4-in-1 uh, Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and this is a foundation that comes in 100 different shades which is amazing that they actually like are marketing and they are actually making everybody inclusive. I love that they're making sure that everybody feels part of their brand plus you're able to like match your shade with other foundations like base it on off of other brands. This foundation retails for $36. I bought mine off of Ulta and it says, ready to love your complexion, it's time to love your skin, your selfie, and the way you look from every angle with 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. This groundbreaking all-in-one skincare infused longwear foundation and concealer instantly masks and blurs the look of imperfections as it helps enhance your natural beauty. So you can actually use it as your foundation as well as your concealer. Enriched with age defined serotonin complex and antioxidant rich energy complex that's made from a signature blend of green tea, ginseng, and vitamin B. This redefining complexion uh, miracle is makeup you can feel good about. Packed with good for your skin nutrients, this medium to full coverage foundation and concealer helps fight against environmental stressors as well as the skin damaging effects caused by exposure to daily high energy visible blue light. Choose your perfect match from 100 vegan friendly shades 
consisting of cool, which is pink undertone, neutral, and warm with gold undertones that seemingly blend on the, onto the skin with a with an oh my god that blend onto the skin for an airbrush looking glow that universally flattering that's universally flattering help conceal blemishes dark spots and imperfections with with the targeted built-in doe uh, doe foot applicator or achievable uh, built or achieve buildable all over coverage with the convenient traditional pump Go ahead and snap your best selfie, we've got you covered for a finish that's so flawless looking you'll skip the filters. That's actually really cool, like I actually love their explanation that this foundation is going to make you look so like good that you're not going to need like filters because obviously like we'll use filters in our pictures. That's actually really really good. Um, and something that really really amazed me was that has it has the actual pump. So it has the pump right here, and you can take the little cap, and it has the pump, as well as when you open it, it has a doe foot applicator, which, I don't know, that's like genius, because you usually use a doe foot applicator to like apply your concealer. So you know, they thought of everything. This has one fluid ounce, which is very typical of all the foundations that I've used. It's like the typical measurements that they give you, they usually give one fluid ounces of product, and I don't see that it has any SPF, which, let me just double check. Um, it doesn't have SPF. I already moisturized my face. I'm going to go ahead and prime it, just like I do with every other foundation. And I actually need to head to work um, in just a little bit. So it's going to be perfect for me to actually like test it and see how well you know it lasts throughout the day I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit so you guys can see up close kinda like my skin and how it looks right now and then you can actually take a look at how much like coverage it gives me it uh, it says using the pump apply one pump of foundation for lighter coverage and two to three pumps for fuller coverage apply directly onto a foundation brush and blend evenly into the skin I'm gonna be using my elf um, sponge because it's like my favorite way to apply foundation that's just how I apply my foundation every day so you can definitely use a brush if that's your preference but I'm gonna be using my sponge so let's zoom you guys in a bit so you guys can see my skin as you can see I have a lot of redness on my cheeks right here um, I usually don't use a um, primer that actually covers that I usually with my foundation is enough so as you can see I have a couple breakouts right here I have breakouts down here here um, and overall my like problem area are my cheeks right here. I have a lot of like redness. It says one pump for um, light coverage and two to three to for full part coverage. So I think I'm just going to use one pump and then I'm going to, because I actually want to see like the coverage that it gives me. So I'm just wearing, waiting for it to like come out. Okay, so one pump is a little bit. So I'm going to do two pumps. So I did two pumps and we'll see how much that coverage. It is thick. It's a thick foundation and the color I think is going to match me like perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to dot it. And this is the side where I have more breakouts here and down here. So. Oh wow, the coverage is there, like, look at that difference, that is impressive. Wow, I'm like super extremely impressed right now. And I didn't even use like the whole, like two pumps. I just dotted it around my nose. The match is perfect. Like the color, the shade matches me perfect. Wow, I'm like extremely impressed. Okay, I'm just gonna dot a little bit on my forehead. This foundation was actually recommended by one of my coworkers. She told me that I had to like try it, that I was gonna love it. This is how the foundation looks on half my face. 
as you can see it covered extremely well my like pinkness and like redness on my cheeks it covered my blemishes um, there's a little bit more redness right here but that's because my like that breakout is like really really red but the shade matches me perfectly so um, I'm really happy that it, they have that in their website that you're able to like match your shade with another brand and then they're able to match you to their own foundation I used two pumps which was not a lot I showed you and it wasn't a lot and that was enough to like cover my whole half my face um, I can still see a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit of redness right here. So I literally have almost nothing here. So I'm going to grab the rest and I'm just going to kind of like spot conceal here. And I am impressed guys. Like this is amazing. I'm going to do just one pump on this side because I think the first pump that I did didn't... Like, it wasn't, like, a full pump because it was just, like, the first pump it came out. So, I just did one pump and that was what I'm going to try to use for the rest of my other half. And, yeah, guys, this foundation is, like, full coverage. Um, pretty sure um, with a brush, maybe you can get a lighter coverage. I mean, with a sponge, usually um, the sponge, I mean, I've noticed that this exact sponge doesn't retain a lot of, like, the foundation that I use or the product. Like, it doesn't absorb it. Um, but I would have to uh, test it out with a brush. I don't use a brush, so that's why I didn't use one today, because that's, like, not my what I prefer. I prefer using a sponge. And I love this sponge because it doesn't absorb, like, product. I'm going to try and use it as a concealer. Now, I like more of a, a little bit brighter for a concealer for myself because that's just like what I like to highlight my under eye. But I'm going to give this like Dofo applicator a try. I like it. It's like any other like Dofo applicator. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Um, wow. It has really, really nice coverage if you use it as a concealer. Use a little bit of a lighter concealer, and I'm going to take my Infallible Full Wear Concealer just a little bit so that I can highlight under my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face, and I'm going to use my Studio Fix from MAC. I don't know if you guys saw my Tarte Foundcealer um, review, and I'll link it up here if you guys haven't watched that. Um, that foundation, as soon as I like set it with my powder, it still was a little bit tacky, and that with oily skin obviously like was not the perfect combo. And I love my MAC powder because it gives me a little bit of coverage because it is a powder foundation. So I'm just going to brush off that. I'm going to go and finish my face, finish my whole makeup, head out to work, and then I'll come back and share my thoughts for the foundation, how well it held up through my work day, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back from work. Um, I'm a little bit tired. It's Monday, the beginning of the week. Um, I went to the gym this morning, so right now my energy, it's like, you know, going down. So I just want to take this off, eat dinner, and then chill for a little bit <laughs> and then like edit this video so um excuse my hair I didn't have time to like do my hair today so I just put like put it up and put it up in a scrunchie and like yeah so um my eyelashes are about, <laughs> about to come off and I don't know like that's like my favorite glue and I don't know why I don't know like I maybe didn't like glue them you know glue them right and yeah this one's like about to like fly out I walked from like my house to my job and it's literally like a four minute walk I am so grateful for that I'm like I'm so thankful uh, and I'm so lucky to be able to like you know walk to work I took you know the foundation for a spin a little bit um, to uh, to walk to work and then walk back and I'm here to kind of like show you guys like how my foundation looks apart from my lashes coming off um, I see like from afar and on camera it looks amazing 
and I still have my blush and a little bit of my highlight. My natural like oils are coming through. Like you can see a little bit of my T-zone getting a little bit oily. Um, and yeah, but overall, like right now, I had this foundation on for about six and a half hours. Yeah, like six and a half, from six to six and a half hours. Um, and then, so yeah, it's been on for quite a long time. I can definitely see, um, I have like no foundation right here on my like nostrils. I have allergies and I tend to like go like this, which is like, like really bad. Um, but I can definitely still see my blush my flush you guys see I can definitely see my blush still my highlight it's still there and I can see a little bit of my um, bronzer which is a hula one I can actually like still see it um, which is amazing because if you guys recall from my Tarte uh, foundation review and I'll link it up here and down in the description box I did not enjoy that foundation like literally my blush highlight bronzer was gone after like two hours and like I said I've been wearing this foundation for about six hours so it looks amazing from afar and like up close. As I said, I can still, like I, my oils are starting to like peek through. But I mean, I was walking around like site and I was walking around outside and then I walked, you know, like from my house to like where I work and like I was outside in the sun. The actual foundation looks amazing. Like my nose is a little bit like oily, which is usually where it gets oily. Um, my T-zone gets it's a little bit oily as well but I mean I am extremely extremely happy with this foundation and how it looks it looks amazing like I am so so in love with this foundation I think it's been like my favorite like high-end foundation since I've tried other ones like this has been like it definitely like 10 for me so that's it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there if you guys have it as always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!